Hey everybody, this is Erica from the Classy Climb blog talking about if you had $500 and you could start today, start all over, what would you do? So if I had $500 and I had to start all over and I at least had a car, I would definitely run over to the thrift store, give me a nice uh, button up, button up or two, pin, a, a, what do you call it, a striped pencil skirt, whatever you call that, um, and some nice shoes. I'd make sure the uh, certain amount was put for gas. I'd get business cards, flyers, a phone, um, a phone, cheap phone. Um, I'd go on musethemes.com for 69 bucks and buy a bunch of different themes, access to all the themes I wanted. I spent about $14 on domain name. Uh, I would do a lot of YouTube videos in that day. Uh, I would also get a DBA, which 14 bucks here in Austin or something like that. Get someone to notarize it, five bucks. Uh, and then I would go all over the whole city of Austin, depending on the choice I made. If it was a construction ser uh, business or a service business or maids, you know, whatever. And I would go go all over the whole city to every single apartment complex for as long as it took, 30 days. And I would market the hell out of that business with my flyers, my business cards, my phone, call up, emails, follow up, uh, design a little quick website. All that over and over and over and over and over for 30 days until I got lots of massive amounts of business. I'd also probably work on a uh, network marketing company. I, I'd, I'd either choose Jamberry, I would choose um, Solave if I had to start all over again, or any of these businesses where uh, it's a service, people like it, they want to buy the product and they keep it moving. Or financial, uh, my econ, financial imprint. And every single day, Nine to six, I would go run around every single apartment marketing the business that I had uh, with the flyers and the business cards. And then from six to nine at night, I would do YouTube videos. I would do uh, speaking. Uh, I would do public speaking engagements where I could speak to people in large crowds and also market those two for businesses. So daytime hours, marketing one business. Now, this is if I had only $500 left and I grabbed a suit and I grabbed some gas from my car. I grabbed some flyers, some business cards, um, Muse themes for the website, domain names, and then I would just go to town. I would just go ham every single day. If I had to have public meetings every day at the, at the public library conference room, I would do that for 30 days if it was my last 500 bucks. And so by the end of that time frame, I would make sure I met enough uh, subcontractors to fulfill the business, if it was a maid business, a construction business, a painting business, whatever business I was marketing to the apartment complexes during the daytime, I would do so. And then from six to nine, if it was Solove, Jamberry, uh, My Econ, whatever the one I picked, I would go and do public speaking every single night all over that same city with that gas money I saved up every single day for 30 days until I got results. And I promise you, at the end of that 30 days, that $500 is either gone, for sure, but you've also replaced it with uh, business knowledge, a sphere of influence, other business uh, connections, uh, new probably downlines underneath you, and uh, your name in that town. They're gonna be like, man, that's that girl that keeps coming every single day, knocking on the door, looking for business, growing her list. I would be unstoppable. So that's what I tell you to do today. You've got 500 bucks left to your name. Figure out what you can do. Figure out what you can sell because sales is a way to freedom and figure out how to get that going today. Uh, this is Erica from the Classy Clown Vlog. You guys have a great day.